it's so awesome to have this community of awesome people that are growing into this awesome thing. It's really cold. I'm just out here with no clothes on. Uh. All right, today I want to tell you a story about lift heavy, run long, how it kind of came to be. I want to talk a little bit about lifting heavy and running long and doing both of those things at the same time and not necessarily having to dump one and do the other. Um, you can do both of those things at the same time. I do. Um, I know lots of people that do. And we certainly have no shortage of people questioning uh, in the group how we go about doing that. So I just wanted to take a one of the vlogs to go in a little bit into how that works for me and how I teach people to do it and how we at Lift Heavy Run Long in our programs that we have, how that how that all works and what it looks like. Um, because a lot of people are coming through the group going, hey, how do you guys juggle lifting heavy and running and, and when do you stop running and when do you start lifting and, and all these things. And the answer in short is that we really don't stop doing one or the other ever. We do, we do both of them all the time because uh, that's what works for us and that's what we love doing. Uh, for me personally, I started about nine years ago, eight or nine years ago, when I just wanted to get in shape. And so what I did was I went to the local CrossFit gym and said, hey, uh, I want to get in shape. What am I going to, what do I do? And so uh, I started CrossFit, started losing weight and decided that I wanted to start running and I said, hey, I'm going to go, I think I'm going to go do, i have done a couple of 5Ks, but I was like, hey, man, I, I think I want to tell my coach, hey, I think I want to go and do a 10K or something. He goes, hey, man, you should do, you should do a 50-mile race. I was like, oh, you're, you're nuts, man. Uh, and so, long story short, I ended up going to run a 10K, uh, just kept stepping up the mileage, went on to a half marathon, went on to a marathon, went right into a 50K, went right into a 50 miler, and then just continued that process for several years after that where I would basically just run the same races. And for a couple of years, I did that and, and uh, loved it. And so along that way, how I trained to do all those things, or while I was training to do all those things, I ended up hitting a 400 pound deadlift. And I was like, man, uh, this is pretty cool. And so I remember standing at a race, <clears throat> at the starting line of a race and thinking in my head, I wonder how many of these guys can pull 400 pounds, you know? Um, and it turns out that there weren't a whole lot of people <laughs> uh, in these ultra marathons that, or marathons or any running event really that were lifting a whole lot of weight. And so when I started my blog, several years ago, I decided just to go out lift heavy, run long because that was the thing that I did. And, and I started seeking out other people that, that did that as well. And, uh, anyway, long story short, here we are. And we've got people asking lots about this and how this works and, and all that. And so how it worked for me was I just went to the gym. So I, I, I just went to the gym for CrossFit class, um, probably four to five times a week. And when I first started and then my coach would give me basically three runs to do every week. And so two of those runs would be intervals and one of those runs would be a longer run on the weekend, depending on what race I was leading up to. Um, that distance might change on the weekend, but for the most part, I was running three times a week and going to the gym and lifting and doing CrossFit for four to five times a week. And so that's what I do now. I just, I still do that. And when I'm training really hard for a race, that's what I do. I'm, I'll, I'll get with Valerie and she'll give me the programming and we'll work it out to where I'm hopefully running three days a week. And then I'll just go to my gym, my CrossFit gym and follow that programming. And so what that normally looks like at a, at a good CrossFit gym, <clears throat> you usually have a strength portion and then a conditioning portion of the of the one hour class so you might take a half hour and you might be deadlifting one day squatting one day front squat back squat you might be pressing one day um, and then 
the next part of the class will be a, a what they call a Metcon or you know just conditioning. So it may be 10 minute long workout. It might be a 20 minute long workout. It might be longer. It might be shorter. And it it'll it'll have push ups, sit ups, pull ups, all that kind of stuff. Uh, kettlebell swings, wall balls, all that good stuff uh, will be mixed in there. And so I will do that. You'll do that four to five times a week a week and then on top of that we have running that we mix in there um, I'll do another video next week about how you start running but uh, for the most part as a whole what it looks like is three days of running and four to five days of uh, strength and conditioning and we we throw lifts in there um, on those days as well and so uh, you know a lot of people talk about um, what days you lift on, what days you squat, what days you run. And of course you want to juggle, you know, you don't want to be too sore on your run. So you wouldn't want to be squatting heavy the day before. So you kind of flop those runs around to fit into your, your strength training and, and make sure you're not, you know, you're not too super sore. Like you wouldn't max out your squat one day and then that afternoon go run, try to go run a, you know, a half marathon or something like that. So, so you need a coach to kind of help you juggle those things around as needed. And uh, for the most part, that's what you get with the programs that we're, that we're offering through Lift Heavy Run Long uh, with Valerie. And you will get whatever program you're on. The daily program, will, the basic program will just be strength and conditioning and running. You'll get, <clears throat> you'll get that on, through the app every day. It'll tell you what to do. And then we have a whole slew of other programs depending on what distance you want to run. We have strength and conditioning programs. We have all kinds of different things, but that's what those programs will look like. You'll see basically three days of running and then four to five days of strength and conditioning, which includes squat, deadlift, press, all those, all that good stuff that we love so much. We just do that all mixed in with our, with our training. So that's how, that's how it works. It's totally doable. Uh, you can totally get strength gains, uh, and get faster while you're doing that. I've done it, I still do it, and uh, it works, right? And so if your question is, how do you guys manage all this stuff? How do you work in running? How do you work in lifting? That's how, that's how we do it. Uh, and if you need a program to help you do that, we've got that for you. So uh, that's how it works, and I'll talk to you next time.